Things of uh, that gin too. Um, <laughs> nah, yeah, they 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 going at it up there. This nigga stupid. Um, Tangerine. bro, look at this fat ass candy, bro. Yeah. So you know this is the coolest attack he has the whole show for sure, um, but no, I, I I ask y'all just because one going into this fight I didn't believe that Law and Kid should be able to defeat Big Mom, especially when Luffy hasn't even defeated Big Mom yet. Um, and there's some people that believe Big Mom is stronger than Kaido. So going into this, I was I was already kind of wary, and I was thinking, okay, it'll probably be a good fight. They're gonna do some strategic shit. And then probably at the end somebody's gonna come in and save them. I don't know who that person is. Maybe Marco, and they triple team or maybe I don't know. Maybe somebody that can help. Look at her face. Um, She's getting fucked up. Yeah, that's yeah. But she been she been taking a lot of damage. This whole so yeah, actually watching through edge, each panel and seeing the fight progress. It's like, okay, maybe I was wrong. It looks like these two are going to be the ones to handle it. Because, honestly, it would look kind of bad if at the end of this arc, Luffy defeats Kaido and Kid and, and uh, Law still can't handle oh, uh, Yonko on their own. And, and not even on their own. It's two on one. Luffy doing this shit by itself, solo dolo. Yeah. And y'all supposed to be my rivals? So y'all supposed to be the company I keep? Y'all can't handle it? That's a bad look. So I feel like it makes sense for Oda to even write it that way. But I do want to say one thing before we give him that. But Luffy never really had a thing for Big Mom. For Big Mom, he didn't. He had a thing for Kaido. He always kind of wanted Kaido and Big Mom, which is in way. Nah, that nigga told me. No, he he, 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 he had he had beef with Big Mom. Your island, no, he your that, that phone call. He was talking oh, stupid yeah. shit about Big Mom, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's for sure the next arc. Nope, we did some other shit. Um, shit, we went to Dress Rosa. And speaking of Dress Rosa. Episode 500 plus. Just Rosa is 118 episodes. Before we get to Just Rosa, we meet Law at Punk Hazard. For the next two arcs, this nigga Law gets his ass whooped every <laughs> single day. I'm sorry, not every day, because most of Just Rosa happened in one day. But every just fucking uh, every Punk fight. Hazard. Punk Hazard to Dress Rosa Law is losing a fight. He's getting shot. He's getting stabbed. He's getting punched in the face by Virgo. <laughs> Chapter 1039, he's... Who is this nigga? Like, I feel like, okay, cool. Law can do all this, this, this shit, and that's fine. And this is a lot of awakening he has. We know he's super strong, super powerful. But where the fuck was this shit earlier? Because, like, Dana, you're one of my favorite characters. And it's not even like you went to go train or some shit. We've damn near been seeing you every... You've been with the Straw Hats long even with your crew for most of the last 300... They had to build their chemistry in here. Like when, oh, no. how how long in have you had you had this power? And where did it come? No, you were about to die. Nigga, Del Flamingo was stomping your ass. He was killing you. Del Flamingo really stomped his ass. Like why you couldn't have learned this. In like why you couldn't use it. no, this nigga. Boom! When this nigga was doing a handing over Caesar in the uh, the trade at Just Rosa, right? This nigga told Usopp, Robin, Nami, and Chopper, "Hey, y'all niggas handle the fighting right now." Because I, I need to save all of my strength and energy for later. Because I'm going up against Do Flamingo. I'm going to need it. I'm not going to use any energy right now. Y'all handle it. Usopp, take care of the fish. When that nigga came, he said, okay, I'm going to fight now. Because I need all of my energy. And if I don't have all of it by the time of the fight, I'm going to die. Because <laughs> Dofi is a problem. <laughs> this nigga did not have that power back then. How the fuck does he have it now? <laughs> but I mean, that's cool. I'm going to go with it. Bro. I'm going to go with it. Only because... Really just because it's older. And I'm, I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. Uh, may, and honestly, just because it's older, he'll probably fill us in okay, on it wait. later. Was it Shanks that stole, uh, they cut off a uh, kid's arm? Yes, it was. What the fuck was this shit? I, this that's shit? what I'm... Hey. And it's... So, boom. Did Shanks cut off kid's arm? Uh, he sure did. He cut off kid's arm, and then Shanks. Uh, I mean, he was there when uh, Kaido fell down, and Kaido popped up and looked at them niggas. Was like, damn, put these small fry and whooped their ass, and then told them niggas follow me, and that's why he got in prison. That's exactly what happened. That's crazy. Like, what the fuck? Like, like, what's all of is, this? So oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Talk okay. to me. What's up? Shanks and kid was fighting. Shanks, Shanks cut off kid's arm. Mm-hmm. 
Uhum. Bom, Carol, 